That's what I'm talking about, Jotaro Kujo. That's what I'm talking about, Flex. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. If you want to be a scumbag, get treated like a scumbag. You think Jotaro going to let that shit slide? Hell no. Okay, don't bring that bullshit into, in, in, inside Jotaro's fucking area. Don't bring that bullshit. Okay? Oh, you you going to be a scumbag? I'm going to throw you like a scumbag. Ah! Straight fucking M MLB. What a, what a arm. Jotaro Kujo is now playing around with Iggy. He got no time for games. Okay? He's like, yo. This is life and death, okay? Fuck the scumbag shit, okay? I, I gotta take out this dude, or if I don't, I'm gonna die, and he'll kill my fucking crew. No! People, JoJo Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders, episode two, season two, let's go! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Okay, Endo versus Jotaro Kujo. The standoff was real. It was super intense. The sound, Endo, and the sound. Sound is a big thing when because he's blind and he and he needs rely on sound and he's like Abdal, whew, Abdal got he got nicked. Okay, he got he got nicked. Okay, he tried to do so so a big play, but end up caught on and it was like yo wait why why did it stop here like why would he stand there and stop and not, and not keep on moving and, okay and you know Endo figured out and I mean I mean Abdal did nick and burn. Endo, but it wasn't enough. Like, Abdal took more damage, okay? Because Endo figured out the, at the right moment, like, oh, this is what you're doing. You're here. I got you, okay? Tit for tat. And, you know, Abdal was fucked up. And Jotaro was like, fuck that. Instead of Abdal getting, like, the final blow, because Endo was about to kill him. Jotaro was like, fuck that. I'll be the decoy. I'm going after the dude, okay? The only person who can track this dude down, okay? Who can smell where he's at is Iggy. So Jotaro was like, fuck that. Get your ass up, man. Yo, if you want to be a scumbag, okay? If you if you, if you want to be a scumbag, I'm going to break your neck, okay? I'm going to break your neck, and you ain't get no fucking candy from me, okay? No gum, okay? Stop fucking around and, and pinpoint where he's at, okay? Okay, is it me kill you? Snap your neck, or he goes. He, uh, he's gonna kill you. Which, which is it? Okay, choose, choose. Okay, is it is it a star platinum or death? Okay, and you know it, the the intense battle between Endo and Jotaro Kujo. It was fucking bees. Star platinum uh, teaming up with Iggy and his stand. Okay, they're like they're flying and they, they, they're gliding. Not really flying, they're gliding and they're descending. And you know they can't make a sound, but Jotaro got a kick. Kick the ground up to get some more hot, some, some more air, and you know he made a sound, and you know, Endo's like, oh shit, like what was that? Like they they like they 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 close, they like they coming towards me, but where? So he used the sand to create sound to pinpoint where they're at in the air, and he can see them. I mean, I mean he can't see them, he can you know the sound, the vibrations, because he's kicking the sand up in the air, it's making sound on, making sound on Iggy's stand, and you know he can like you know. Awesome daredevil shit, okay? Some fucking Marvel character daredevil shit. He can like see them, but he's blind because he's relying on sound. Like the way they did an the episode, like he act like he can see him, but it's like vibration sound. And he's like using like a sonar radar type of like deal. You like you know using the sand like the sand to kick it up in the air, you know to you know see them. He can't fucking see. He's blind. But whatever. You get what I'm talking about, okay? Vibrations and fucking sound, or whatever. But you know. You know, and you know, Iggy was like trying to save his own skin, and the Taro was like, "Where you go? You you still be a scumbag? Get out of here, son!" And the Taro was like, "Yo, you you going you you going to collide with this guy? You better use your stand. Both you guys are something's going to happen. So both of them use a stand." To defend themselves because they didn't want to hit each other because that's gonna be uh not a good picture okay not not a good look and. Endo loses Jotaro. He's like, what the fuck is he? And he's behind him. Clean. That was fucking clean. And the standoff. And he and Endo figured out, like, oh, she's behind me. Okay. You get his pipe. Or well, it was Kane. Whatever. Uh, and he's like, okay. The standoff was real. It was hella real. And also, this is the first time, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time you see Jotaro without his hat. I think so. I think we, we you, you, you never seen Jotaro uh, with his hat off until now. Because the standoff was hella real. It was it was real. The standoff was real. Okay. And that punch. Oh my god. Oh. Stop playing with the quitters. And the roar after he bopped Endo. Oh, 
Start platinum, dog. Flex. He was flexing, son. Start platinum, little beastie ass stand. And Endo, it was explaining how, like, how majestic pretty much Dio is. Like, if evil have a savior, he is the savior of evil. Dio Brando, okay? And how he's tall and he's strong and he's majestic. Pretty much like a fucking unicorn, okay? Like a, like this this majestic being, okay? He acknowledged Endo and, and, and it's like the way he was speaking about Dio is like this motherfucker is godlike. Like he's like on some another Lex level, like like he's like modeling for Calvin Klein or something. Like, yo, like he's like some majestic fucking model. Like he was, the way he was like Dio Brenner walk and how Endo explained how Dio is his presence, his posture, his muscles, his, his how, how his stature and how 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 a, like supreme being he is over me. It's like yo, he was going in deep, balls deep, in describing how majestic Dio is. And he was explaining how that there's nine Egyptian gods. And Joe told like nine Wait, wait, no, I think eight, or was it eight or nine? Wait, eight, 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 nine? Eight or nine? I can't remember, what, it's like, wait, eight, I think it's eight or nine. Either of those, Egyptian gods, and Endo was one of the Egyptian gods, uh, and he his Egyptian god was Dep, I think, yeah, Dep, that's how, you, that's how I say it, and yeah, and there are more Egyptian gods on their way. Also, towards the end of the episode, you see two brothers, that was crazy. The whole book. Okay. Dr. Seuss ain't got shit on that fucking book. Oh, yeah. That book. They, they, they These two brothers are fucking lethal. Okay. I mean, you saw what they can do. Okay. Mm. That, that guy with the, with, the, with the binoculars who was reading the book, he got bought. The whole bus got bought. The older brother was like, you know what? He saw, he, cause the brother, the little brother was like, yo, he showed him a page of a book. And he was like, yo, we'll catch the next bus. And the bus they're about to take was in the accidents. Like on some final destination type of shit. And then, and the book was telling how all, all like the Charles crew member is going to the hospital. He's wounded. We're gonna meet them there, okay? So they're on the way to meet Jotaro and Abdal and the rest of the crew, and it also Cockwin too, cause he's his eyes are fucked up. But anyway, guys, JoJo Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders episode two, season two, Indo versus Jotaro Kujo, fucking beast ass battle, intense. Also, Eagle is in the mix. He saw a little nice side. Of Iggy towards the end. The child was like, yo, I'm trying to apologize, okay? And Iggy wouldn't get his hat. And Joe was like, he was full. Like, oh, okay, you ain't so bad after all. But, you know, there was some scumbag shit. Some fuckery from Iggy. He put, had some, what, some sticky, icky, icky on his fucking, some slobber, robber, robber on his hat. And, you know, Joe was like, yo, you fucking bastard. You fucking scumbag, okay? And Iggy with the scumbag smirking fucking eyes and his look. Ah. <sighs> Fucking Iggy, bro. That's fucking Iggy for you guys. Keep it up with Iggy. Keep it up with Iggy. He should have his own TV show. Keep it up with Iggy.